it's Saturday morning, everybody. See where we're at? Land between the lakes. And uh, I give it the we because we got one with us. He uh, got a chance to come down this weekend, and uh, we weren't really sure what's going to happen. We've been keeping up with the weather because it's going to rain. Just, just plain and simple, it's going to rain. <laughs> and we don't either. Either one of us care right now. Looking forward to it. We, uh, we have map. We have compass. And I'm not real sure, but we could be in league with Lewis and Clark as far as gear <laughs> per man goes. Uh, we've got enough to stay. I back for Kent and Hammock both. And we're just going to ride around a little bit. we got a couple places in mind, but uh, when we find the right spot, we'll know it. We're going to spend the night, maybe two, you never know. Could be three, <laughs> at least two. So we're going to head on down here. First destination is off of 221. I don't believe you guys have ever been there with me before, and I know this one hasn't been there before. So we're going to check that one out first. Thanks for coming with us, guys. Stick around. It's going to rain. It's going to be good. For you guys that have come along with me on uh, videos before, where we're getting ready to turn left right here. Hope you guys like the camera. Like, yeah, that's pretty cool. You've been kayaking down at Mars Lake with me a couple of times down there. And you guys have been this way with me also. I'm not going to tell you exactly where we're going. But I did say 221, but you'll see in just a minute or two. It's kind of nice down through here today, isn't it? Should be quiet. Yeah, <laughs> let's hope so. Be nice and quiet. Everything's just shallow water. We had quite a bit of rain last night, but uh, I don't know. Hopefully they're all shallow water on the way out. Yeah, true. <laughs> Never been back here. And what do we got there? Mark Trail, a horse trail or something. It is closed to all vehicles. So, no idea. Fire road. All kinds of places to camp. The tree, man. Pretty strange, wasn't it? That's another one. I think we're getting close to the end of 222 because we're coming up on a cemetery right here. I think we're going to stop for a minute and uh, I'll get out and walk you guys around just a little bit. That looks like an old one, doesn't it? That's the end. And the North South Trail goes that way. Uh, back here at the end of 222 is Morgan Cemetery. Some uh, fairly old graves. Several Morgans in here. I kind of noticed these two here. You can't really see it that well. The, the depressions are about a foot deep. Uh, a lot of these people weren't very old. Uh, this one... Uh, 1881 to 1897 and it looks like looks like the cedar trees kind of got involved with this one that person there died in 1905 some Sam Morgan and some more of the family I'm supposing over here all these small markers I'm not sure they could be uh children foot markers I think these are actually foot markers yeah that would make more sense but these here are just stones and you can see the grave depressions so they've been here for a while there's absolutely no writing on those at all down here at LBO you find this a lot though you know people live down here the Indians were through here hundreds of years Nice and peaceful, though. My daddy always told me, 
Ain't no need to be scared here. There's not a soul here that's going to bother you. Well, after going down to the far end of 222, we decided to come back up here. This is a nice, uh, reasonably level spot. Pine trees, and that would be an old white oak right there. And I set up here before. Mm, not hardly like this the last time, though. <laughs> the last time I was here, uh, if you guys would like to check the video out, was... Uh, 222 and the North South Trail. The North South Trail comes down right over there. And it continues on down 222 till you get down to the cemetery and uh, it breaks off and takes off through the woods. This is an idea I'd had for a while. It requires and you wouldn't want to put this up by yourself. <laughs> you have really no need for that much room. But for the two of us, and maybe hanging out here for a couple of days, then again, we may pick up in the morning and find another spot. But for right now, this one looks good. We're fixing to go down and get some firewood. I know, I haven't said anything to you guys in a while, but we've been kind of busy. As you can see, we got plenty of room. There's two man on that end. And plenty of room down on this end for my one man. Plus our table and chairs. Brad's throwing us together a fire pit here real quick. And we'll put the little 5 by 7 up on top of us just in case it does start raining for some reason. <laughs> like we don't think it's going to. Uh, we'll just drop that down over the front. A couple of stakes on the ground and we should be good to go. I don't think it's going to be all that windy tonight. They're not talking about it, but... Uh, We've already been here long enough, and just a little while ago, the wind was up enough that you could hear it whistling through the pine trees. Five mile an hour wind all night would be nice tonight. We're going to go gather some firewood while it's dry. Oh yeah, wait a minute. We've got coyotes barking already. Which direction was that bunch coming from, brother? Back over there. Oh, if they come around, we'll get a video of them. Right now, we got to go cut some firewood. Why don't you guys just hang tight here at the camp? The last time I was here in a hammock, I went right off down that way and uh, cut the part of the top out of a piece of maple that had gone down. I brought most of the firewood with me on that one. This time, we went right over here back behind us and uh, there's an oak tree over there started shedding. Picked a couple of limbs on it, brought them over. We're not looking at having a big bonfire tonight. Just a nice fire. We're not necessarily even going to cook on it, but a mite. Uh, we're having breakfast tonight, just so you folks know. Because of the temperature right now, temperature indicator inside this here tent configuration says 56 degrees. And I don't think it's supposed to get down high 40s tonight, maybe. And tomorrow night, it's supposed to be warmer than that. So. There again, we may or may not stay here. Not 100% sure. But I've been wanting to do this setup for a while. And like I said, by yourself, this setup is too much. Unless you're planning on living here for a week or two. Then actually, the extra room might be nice. We're just... Down here where Brad's got his set up, just set your kitchen up on that end, and you got your living quarters down on this end. Been a while since we was at LBL, ain't it, brother? Long time. Now, yep. I'm going to get out there and split up a little bit of wood with him and get that stacked up. Won't be long. I think it's probably in the neighborhood of 5, 530, somewhere in there. We'll probably get a fire going here in just a little bit. Hey, brother's just lighting one of those, uh, I don't know what to call it, besides some sort of fiber, composite, and wax. Burns pretty good. They lit pretty easy. Uh, yeah, those do. Even when you leave them out, I did find out with those other uh, fuel cubes over there, if you break one of them, it doesn't want to light very well. Oh, after yeah. yeah, After it sets out two or three days... 
uh, it doesn't doesn't want to light hardly at all. Well, that's the one I used in the video. <laughs> Are you ever going to light? On a wood stove? Yeah. Now we split it up a little bit. It's kind of busting at the knots. It is not the best wood, but it will provide a nice fire for us tonight. As most of you guys know, I'm not uh, used to camping with modern technology. My modern technology is generally to look up there, over there, and see what's happening. The day brother's got his phone here, and I hope I can get a focus on that. Yeah, that blue dot there in the middle, right there, that's us. And you can see the mess that's coming at us. So as the evening goes on, We'll keep you apprised. If we don't get wet. Yeah, probably be with sound of the rain instead of looking at the radar. <laughs> Does it look like it's midnight or what? Well, it ain't. But if you listen real close. Oh yes, it started to rain. So the leading edge of that green that you guys saw there just a little while ago. It's upon us. Thunderstorms are not too far in the background. We've heard a little bit of thunder. And this is an odd feeling to be sitting out here in anticipation of a thunderstorm in a pine thicket under a pair of tarps. In February. In February, yeah. And what, 56 degrees in February, you know, and uh, if you guys go back a couple videos with me, uh, You'll see that it was 6, 12, 13 degrees there. And one day we had a, I don't think it got any higher than 22 at my house one day. So we're definitely in the Tennessee groove, are we not? I think we'll be dry enough. I don't think that's going to be an issue. The fire is not so big that we can't move it back just a little bit if we need to. Pretty relaxing out here tonight, ain't it? Well, as the rain gets here a little bit more, we had to make an adjustment or two. We tried to set up so that the... Uh, the way the wind was going to be coming is going to take the smoke away from us. And it should before the night's out. But right now it's kind of almost blowing the other direction. And we're in the middle of fixing this here tarp. The one on top. Uh, we wanted it just a little bit different. And Brad's fixing it up where it'll drain. We're going to put us a prop stick under there. And still be able to get out there and sit and cook. And listen to the rain brother cutting us oh there listen to that I think y'all can hear that thunder rolling coming in on us it'll be time to eat here for long though brother just brought up a pretty good point here a few minutes ago we know it's gonna rain do it well absolutely without question that's in four wheelers, Jeff. Coming back by a couple of guys on four wheelers went down to the end by the cemetery and came back out and went the opposite way from where they came in. And now they're getting wet. That might be fun. They said they had a good night again. Uh, yeah, it looked yeah. like one of them might have been carrying a 12 ounce barrel and ah. cruising around the woods. Could be. If you can, we got a little bit of smoke in here. The wind's changing directions back and forth, back and forth. We set up for the westerly wind, and there it is right now. But for about 10 seconds. Yeah, and then it'll change back around. Yeah. <laughs> we're not sure what we're going to do for dinner plans yet. Just as soon as we uh, see how much it's actually going to rain. But yeah, we uh, we left a perfectly dry house <laughs> yeah. to come out in the woods and build a house out of tarps to hang out in the rain. 
Yeah. But not be in the rain. No, we don't want to get wet. And we don't want to get wet. <laughs> but we want to go sit in the woods. So we'll string up two tarps for two hours and not sit in the perfectly dry, warm house that we have. It took a few minutes to get this setup done, but with two of us, it went pretty quick, actually. And we do have a dry place to stay. There's no question about that. I think we got a lot accomplished in a short amount of time. We did do that. There's no doubt about that. If we had have driven around very much more, yeah. we would have been sitting up in the rain. This mm -hmm. is what the third third spot we stopped at, or yeah, yeah. well, kind of. Yeah. Third spot we seen, second spot, whatever. That's pretty quick though. That's not too bad. Five years ago when we was doing this, we probably stopped ten times <laughs> before we picked one. Yeah, it was hard to find a good spot. Yeah. Um, well, we could get a lot more places too. Yeah, he had a Jeep yeah. at that point in time, and we didn't have any trouble going in and out anywhere for that matter. Well, um, we found some good spots that way. Yeah, we did. We did found quite yeah. a few good spots. <coughs> We also, in those spots, we knew we could get out once we got in there. <laughs> yeah. Today, we were trying to make sure that we didn't get a nice camping spot away from everything, and then it rained like this for the next two days. And, not be able to and get yeah, out. and then we can't get out. We'll have to call Toad to come and do some uh, truck stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Save us. Yeah, yeah. Help, help. A little help, please. We're going to do a little more deciding on dinner, and uh, we'll get back to you guys in just a little bit. Well, we decided to uh, not cook on the fire. The fire is going to go away in just a little bit. I'm going to check the uh, radar out here again in a minute because it has slacked up dramatically, as you can probably tell from that last shot. Brad's going to cook us up some chicken teriyaki with some extra chicken in it. And we're going to have breakfast for breakfast in the morning. It's not supposed to be raining first thing, but even if it is, we'll build a fire a little closer under here and cook inside. Alrighty folks, you can uh, see what happened to the fire. I'm going to see if I can get this around and get a focus. We're kind of right in the middle of that mess right now, looks like. Evidently, it may be going to kick up on the back side of it a little bit. It cooled down pretty quick, though. That didn't take long, so... I decided to go ahead and fire up this little stove with one of them fuel cubes in it and get us a little heat in here while we're waiting on dinner. In a nice, cool evening without a fire. Smoke. Still raining a little bit, sprinkly, I'd call it. Enough that uh, the fire's just about all gone now. We drop the center tarp down, kind of block a little bit of the breeze, down about 54 degrees, but it feels cooler than that. What in the low 50s? <laughs> now, it actually feels like it's in the high 40s to me, the wind coming through here. I guess it's because everything's wet too, that don't help. Had a good dinner, got everything cleaned up, just hanging out. That's one of those fuel cubes we got going down here in the, in the floor. Let me tilt down and let you guys see what we got going on there. It's throwing off a little heat. We don't need a lot, just to knock the chill off. Or I need to knock the chill off anyway. He's sitting over here with thermals on. I'm going to cheat before I go to bed, I think. Slip mine off. We didn't have a real eventful day today. We found a place to stay pretty easy. And I had this spot in mind. I did. Uh, because of the kind of camp we were going to do, putting up all the tarp set up, using two tents, and or I was going to swing in a hammock. I think this was a good option for tonight, though. This is more fun than a hammock. <laughs> So far, it uh, looks like it's going to stay up all night, too. Oh. 
Man, I sure wish I could have got a snow camp in. I wish he could have came down and camped while we were snowing, but folks, I just couldn't hardly get out of the house. It was just almost more than I could do some days to get up and get around. So, this place was really easy. Truck's parked right over there. Really didn't have to carry anything anywhere. Brother was up for it, so here we are. And we'll see what see what the deal is in the morning. I don't know. I'm up for here. I'm up for moving. Uh, I don't think tomorrow would be a good time to go down to the lake because they're calling for thunderstorms more tomorrow afternoon. So we may hang out here. I don't know. We may go find another spot in the woods somewhere. Right now, though, if you're at a spot where you can, step out on the porch and have a little snort with us. Thanks for coming, everybody, and hanging out in the rain. <laughs> Brother? I believe I will. Not blowing it on the fire. It's the uh, top of the tents right there. <laughs> we'll get one of those in here before long. Yeah, this was going to be the weekend for uh, for my first getaway camp. I wanted to go down there and, and just hang out the pond for Brad Golf and had the chance to come down this weekend. And we just decided to come to the lake instead of hanging out the house, which is not bad to hang out, but the adventure of coming to the lake, it's got him hooked. We haven't been here in a long time. No. No. Hey, wow. I don't know how many spots we've camped in down here, but there's a whole lot of little black dots on that map. It's been a lot. <laughs> and you guys got to remember, too, that uh, we were camping close to a year before I ever started making videos. And then he was in my first video, yep. uh, my first full video, besides the intro, when we were down at, uh, on Kentucky Lake. Well, and back then, I think we were camping down near every weekend. Just it about. Just about every weekend. Yeah. Camp. Yeah. For almost a year. Yeah, really. We kind of, we were talking about that just a little while ago, our graduation through the evolutions of camping that we've gone through so far. Oh, goodness. And uh, I think I told you guys that, that Brad and I were the ones, we started out more or less in the trapper shack. Now, I, I had a couple of camps uh, before he came with me that uh, I set up a tarp. But at, at that point in time, I still wasn't very mobile. And I found out really quick that first weekend that getting in and out of a tent was not going to happen on a regular basis. The trapper shack had to come around just to give extra room. And then we got kind of carried away with the extra room and mm -hmm. bringing everything to live high on the hog for two or three days out in the woods. And as time went on, brother got out of the army and uh, moved back home. And I started doing the camping by myself, going over to the hideout a whole lot more. I had so many bad experiences down here at the lake. Uh, you guys have seen two of them on video where I had a bad experience down here. So I quit coming. I just spent more time at the hideout. And um, now I've got the uh, getaway camp. I want to talk to you guys a little bit more about the hideout in an upcoming video here too. Uh, bring you, get a little update on the place. It may go over there and do a camp at the hole in the ground. If you guys don't remember that, there's at least three videos on the hole in the ground. Go back and check them out if you would. I'd appreciate it. I spent a whole lot of time indoors last year. And I sure have missed getting out. It just raises the spirits. It needs to happen sometimes. It's got to happen. Sometimes you just got to take two hours to go set up tarps and sit out in the rain. <laughs> See, this is just very true. Very true. Just heard another little rumble of thunder back over there to the west. Southwest. And uh, we're probably in for a few more showers. Maybe on the back side of this thing, it looked like a, we caught the middle 
slack. Yep. We have a little, no little snort tonight. Mm-hmm. I don't think we're going to do a whole lot more, folks. We're just going to hang out, catch up on some old camping stories. And it probably won't be too much longer than both of us will be about ready to lay down. It seems to get to you that way, doesn't it, when you get out here in the woods and get your lungs full of fresh air, and get your head full of fresh air, too. Thanks for coming with us today, guys. We're doing what we do. Talk to you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Finally. Uh, what is it? What time is it? Oh, 9.09. 9.09. <laughs> it rained all night, folks. And the wind picked up and down, was up and down like it is right about now. It's just barely sprinkling. There's maybe a five mile an hour wind. It has not stopped all night long. We'll put it that way. And uh, we didn't know it till this morning. <laughs> His phone <laughs> evidently was buzzing all night long. Uh, what did we have? We had, well, we had a extreme alert for a tornado warning till 7.30 this morning. It says to take shelter, so we did. Yeah, we're, we're in a shelter. We're in shelter. We're good. And then flash flood warning until 8.30 this morning. We're on a hill, so we're good there, too. We're and, good, and I drug us a ditch out there, so we're yep. not running water inside. Yep. New, new severe alert come through. Flash flood warning until 9.04, which Army Corps of Engineers over here dug us a trench, and we're good. So <laughs> Hopefully we're good here now. I don't I don't know about the road out there. Yeah. It may be flooding out. We'll worry about that in a day or two, I guess. Yeah, whenever we decide yep. to pack up. This is in no way uh, knocking the spirits out of this camp, folks. We knew exactly what was coming. Well, not exactly what was coming, but we knew this kind of mess was going to be here anyway. <laughs> Uh, so instead of packing up and uh, moving like we kind of thought we might do, pick another spot for a day or so, we're just going to hang out here, do a few camp improvements today. Yeah, a little pinch and tuck. And... Yeah. yeah, we had one leak last night. I can still see the drip over there, I think. That's the corner of that tarp that sat next to the wood stove. Wow. So it may be a bit porous. It seems to do know. okay. It's just a drip. Right. As long as it ain't running water down through the middle of your tent, I'm good. Yep. Uh, and I stayed dry last night. I had a little bit of rain come in the end of the tarp on my tent, but waterproof. I hope it's waterproof. It's got <laughs> enough silicone on it. It ought to be waterproof. All right. He's having coffee. I'm going to get off here and have a little bit more of my tea. And uh, we're just going to hang out. You guys are welcome to join us. Sitting in the rain. Maybe all day. <laughs> well, I think it's about 11.30. Not sure. We've been milling about smartly. And uh, got a few things done. Redone the end down there. I'll show you that in a second. And we uh, redone our front porch. I don't think we're going to have all the rain that uh, we had last night, so we'll be all right. Just pulled out and restaked stuff. We had one little leak last night. But nothing got wet. So we went down and drug that uh, cedar up. Still good on the inside. Been down for a while. You guys tell me what you think about this here setup. For two people on a weekend, I think we made a good choice to do this because of the way it did rain yesterday and last night. Uh, it kept us dry. We've had a nice dry place to sit. And uh, Brad's working on that end of it. And I'm going to saw some up. I don't know about you guys, but uh, that's an okay day for me.
Hey brother, you got the remote? No, I think I left that by the couch. I wanted to see if there was something else on TV here. How long is this show supposed to run? I think this one goes till Monday. <laughs> okay. Eh, not real sure if it's lunchtime or not just yet, but uh, bro, what do you got in the can? Oh, uh, ravioli. Raviolis. Yeah, man, the good stuff. Now the can into the man, and I'm heating up some water for some ramen. You should have probably stole it from the kid. <laughs> He's sharing his raviolis. Gonna take a hike, are we? A little bit. <laughs> Yeah, it commenced to raining again. Everything in here is pretty much damp. We were just talking about that. Get to the house, everything gets unloaded and uh, dried out. I brought my underquilt protector uh, just in case I slung up in the hammock. And so far today, it has worked really good keeping my sweatshirt dry for one and my bag for tonight. They are not full of moisture, unlike everything else in here. It's pretty damp. It'll take a couple of days, but we'll get her dried out. Other than that, we're setting high and dry. We've got no leaks. The new porch setup works real well. And, uh, yeah, believe it or not, we're enjoying the afternoon. 16.15 for all you military folk out there. The weather report is turning nasty for us. So we have been warned. Yeah, we, we have been we have been definitely warned more than once. Uh, the two fronts are gonna come together and are converging on top of us, kinda as we speak. The temperature here today has been about 65 degrees since five o'clock this morning. Hasn't hardly changed at all. Been foggy like this all day and rainy on and off. And now we are uh we have been warned <laughs> about a tornado watch because of the weather situation getting like it is. So I'm not real sure. We're still in the midst. But I think uh, discretion being the better part of valor, we, yeah. we might ought to call this one just on account of weather. Neither one of us want to leave, folks. It's, it is definitely one of those situations, but <laughs> I don't want to sit. <laughs> In a, yeah, I don't want to sit here and blow away. In a tarp and, a tornado and, either, so. and something that I haven't shown you guys, let me back up just a little bit down here. Try not to jiggle you around too much. We, we look, well, it's going to start raining on us again. Yeah. Uh, these pine trees right around us here are all in fairly good shape. There are some bad limbs, and I'm going to head for the indoors here with this camera. We don't feel too bad about the situation on a normal day, but if we get a bunch of wind here. Well, here, let me pull up the radar. Yeah, he's gonna, gonna pull up the radar. Boy, so he'll, he'll pull up a little. Let's see. If, uh, if it's gonna be too nasty, we best not risk it while we do have a chance before, it, uh, before the wind picks up too bad. We're going to skirt most of it. Where's yeah. the... So what we got here? Come come up to the side. Yeah, there you go. So you can see the storm line running below us. And just above us it's clearing out. But right back behind that over in probably Arkansas right now. The yeah. uh, fronts are coming together with wind. So, are we out? Maybe a leisurely pace. Okay, all right. We're not gonna get in any big hurry just yet. We're gonna see what the weather does because we are in a uh, jump and run situation of about 30 minutes we can be out of here. Yeah. We are not so far back a road that we're gonna get stranded by a large mud hole. Mm -hmm. and, Closer. Here we can see kind of the front 
Yeah, it's coming. Well, fronts are coming through. Coming oh, right, ac right across, huh? Yeah. yeah. Okay, let me shut this thing down. You guys stand by to stand by for just a few <laughs> minutes, and uh, we'll okay. see what we're going to do. Evaluate life decisions here. Yeah. Hey, Brad's turning the truck around. We're just going to leisurely pack. We've got another plan in mind. Don't know yet. We'll see how that one works out. But uh, we think it's best probably just to pack this one in right here. Let me get to packing so we can get on out. Well, we're not 100% sure we're making the right choice, but it almost sounds like it, doesn't it? We're doing a slow pack, but we're going to get out. One hour later, we're on the road, folks. Uh, we just now got packed up and in the truck and rolling away. The lightning started to move in pretty heavy. Uh, thunder rolling to the north of us. And as we seen earlier, the larger part of the storm is actually going to be coming from the south side of where we're at right now. So decision made to uh, head on back to the house. And I'm going to let this window unfog just a little bit. And uh, we'll show you some of the road going out. Here's just a little indicator of how much rain we've had in just the last few minutes. And the lightning and thunder to go along. Oh dear, 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 my dear. Look out. Well, seen a coyote and a deer on the way out. Everybody's moving today. <laughs> We made our way back out onto the trace. We had another deer running in front of us just down the road from where the other one did. Every ditch, every creek is sure gonna be full after this one. You know guys, I don't I don't really know how to guesstimate how much rain we had while we were set up. But I think we've almost had as much today as we had or this afternoon yeah. as we had total coming into it. Slow boat to China. <laughs> Can't get in no hurry now. Try to ease over. You guys see all that water running down the side of the road right there? When we came in, there was no water in that ditch. And it wasn't doing that either, by the way. <laughs> uh, same kind of thing. Let me crack the window here. Right over in that tree line right there, I bet it won't be too long at all. The water will be coming up in that field because it was starting to crest or getting close to cresting back at the last little bridge we came over. This would have been an interesting night. Well, we just passed the south entrance. Had a little bit of pond and waters on the road, not too bad. And we uh, just passed the sign back there, and oddly enough, Smokey Bear says that there's a low risk of fire. <laughs> this little clip probably ain't going to make any sense. We're not hardly halfway to the house yet, and it has not let up a bit. No mistakes were made as far as camping today. Now i got about 10 more miles to go. Here again, it ain't let up one bit. Well, boys and girls, we're uh, we're about three miles from the house. It has finally slacked up a little bit, but uh, still raining. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. We did, even though we didn't get to spend another night. We we enjoyed what we had. A little bush crappy stuff, hung out in the woods in the rain mostly, but uh, yeah. Brad's over here, he's just about wore out from this drive home, and we're almost there. So, I'm gonna cut this one off here, folks. Really hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, if you like hanging out in the rain yourself, let me know in the comments. How about that? I want to thank Brad for coming in and uh, doing this adventure with me, and hope we get to pull off another one. Thank you, brother. Absolutely. All right, folks, we're going to get to the house, and uh, until next time, just wait for the next big adventure.